David Cretney, you're a member of the Labour Party. Yeah. Let's just deal with a resignation that happened uh, this week and just think about what effect it has on the party concerned. Julie Edge, the Onkin MHK, has uh, gone from Lib Van. Uh, she tabled her resignation during the week, saying she'd made the decision with regret, but in the interests of her constituents, as she was restricted from fulfilling the role properly for the people of Onkin. It's been 15 months since she was elected. James Davis had a look back at her career. Miss Edge says she thought long and hard about her position before tendering her resignation. But while she continues to uphold many of the principles and values of Lib Van policies, she feels she has to put her constituents first, highlighting a number of situations she believes are hindering her from representing the people of Onken. The final straw, she claims, was being told by the party leader, Health Minister Kate Beecroft, that she could not ask questions about health issues on the floor of the House of Keys. This previous, as far as Ms Edge's actions are concerned, South Douglas member Bill Malarkey resigned in 2008, two years after being elected on a Lib Van ticket, citing similar concerns. And in 2012, Zach Hall, also from Onken, was effectively sacked after he claimed there was a lack of democracy within Lib Van. Ms Edge's resignation leaves Mrs Beecroft and the Ramsey MHK Laurie Hooper as the only members of the party in Timwald. It's yet to comment. Let's just turn to David Cretney, first of all. You're a member of the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. Did you feel hemmed in by uh, the, what the Labour Party... Does it tell you basically what you can and can't say? No, not at all. I would say that the Bank's Labour Party is very democratic, a very broad church. The views uh, go from to the left to uh, centre in terms of politics, I think. We... But which view is decided upon as Labour well, policy? Well, what happens is, if you looked at our, if you look at our last manifesto, the manifesto went out last year. We had a number of sessions uh, on a Saturday morning over a, a considerable period, where everybody who wished to come along from the Labour Party spent time constructing the policy document. Uh, we're, so we're, we're an inclusive party. We're not. We're, we're all equal. Mm. Consent. Uh, as far as Lib Vans is concerned, Chris Thomas. Uh, are they still a power in, in Timwald, in Keys? I mean, do, are people aware even of the, the, the party membership, etc., and thinking, yes, that they could be, well, they're not a block vote uh, with just two, um, but that they could be influential in any decision taken? Yeah, Kate Beecroft, Laurie Hooper, Julie Edge, they're all uh, important politicians. Every member of the House of Keys is important. We have to remember that in the Isle of Man, any member can put down a motion about anything. Any member can look for a private member's bill. It's not like it is across where you have to get into party lists and into groups. So every politician in the Isle of Man potentially has more power. And Laurie, Julie and Kate are amongst those politicians who do lots of work. Um, pretty much all of the 24 MHKs do that, I think. I'm sure and most of the MLC and they all have lots of power. Um, what we have to remember as well, though, is there's a profound difference between Timwood and Keys and other parliaments, most other parliaments. We don't have a government and an opposition bench. Well, we according to a newspaper article, they said the Isle doesn't have an opposition, which painted which is, us which rather correct, a mirror Which is correct, picture. which is correct, because we, um, in every other parliament you have a government bench and an opposition bench. You have a leader of opposition who gets a payment for being a leader of the opposition. We don't have that in the Isle of Man. We have a, a, a 24 MHKs that all sit next to the other person who, with whom they got elected in their constituency. Kate Beecroft doesn't sit next to Julie Edge and Laurie Hooper. How strange is that? You would have thought if it was a party like anywhere else, everybody in the party would be sitting next to each other, egging, egging each other on. And so it's a, a very different situation, our parliament. Now, Alison, do, do you think that there should be a party system in the Isle of Man, or do you think the independent system that we have at the moment uh, operates adequately? Personally, I feel that the, the way it operates um, now is good. Um, I take my hat off to Julie Edge that, um, you know, she's standing by what her constituents want and not by what Liberal Vannin want her to do. Um, and I know there's been call for her to stand down as an MHK and for it to go to election. Um, I don't believe that that would be that's necessary because I, I actually believe that she would if she if she did stand down. Um, I always forced to stand down. She would get back in on election. People voted for her, for her, her views, um, and she is standing by her constituents.